Good evening and welcome to Jazz Shapers, the live session. I'm Elliot Moss and you're listening to this very special edition here from the beautiful Everyman Cinema in the heart of Islington and we're live on stage with Kelly Hopper, my business shaper, 40 years at the top of the interior design business and Bill Lawrence, Grammy Award winning artist, composer, extraordinary musician. Kelly, 40 years, it's a long time to be good at what you do. Tell me about where you think your ambition is derived from. I think I was born into a family of people that were very driven, very creative. My mother is, you know, nearly 80 and still has a gallery and still works and travels. My father was very creative, my brother's creative, and I was always surrounded by people in our home, artists and people in theatre, so I was constantly around incredibly inspiring people. And my father sadly died when I was 16, and I think that moment I decided it was the most horrific thing that ever happened to me. So I just wanted to succeed on my own and never rely on anybody else, but I'd always had this real driven passion to be an interior designer. And I guess, I don't know, it's 16 and a half, I started a business and literally for 40 years I've been doing it. Where did creativity become commercial? When did you suddenly go, do you know what, I can make a living out of this? Both my parents work, and they were real grafters, you know, my mother still is. But in a way, I was so respectful of the way my parents were, and I loved their life. And I think I was very driven by that, and I like the feeling of being successful in something that I do. And it wasn't driven by making money. It was driven purely by the passion of the feeling that I got when I designed something and I handed it over. And that moment when you kind of give birth to something and you see the expression on someone else's face, that fed me with something that I needed. And it became more like a drug in a way that I just kept wanting to do it. You're the creative force, but you're also running a business. How involved are you in the numbers? How involved are you in the big strategic decisions about property and other things that you might have to get involved with? I was self-taught as a businesswoman and I'm dyslexic um, and um, I control everything. I am the biggest control freak. As you're saying it, I'm not actually that surprised. You're looking at me and I'm going, <laughs> she probably does control everything. I know everything. I know every number in, in my studio. I read every email. I, I Nothing passes me. I am... I watch from afar, but I'm involved. I've had the same financial guy in my company for 23 years. We're the complete opposites. I like to spend money, he likes to save it. We, you know, we're in the middle somewhere. Um, but no, I'm, I control everything that I do. And that, in a way, it's been to my detriment sometimes because I think I could have let go of a few things, but that's the way I am and I'm not gonna change now. Okay, now it's time for the question and answer session. It's your chance to ask anything you like. Thank you. Hello. I've worked in fashion all my life as been a green pioneer. I'd be interested to know how you feel that the interior world could drive itself forward in that way and do you have any vision for the future you'd like to share? Well, I think, you know, sustainability in, in build and, and creating paints and paper and all the things that we put into our home, more and more people are doing it, more and more clients have asked for it, more and more commercial buildings that we're doing are doing it and I think that it's probably somewhat behind than it is in fashion, but it's definitely happening and it's definitely needed. The reason why we have created this programme of Jazz Shapers is that musicians and entrepreneurs, especially jazz musicians, have a lot more in common than they might realise. Certainly something Kelly said earlier about it feeling like a, a, a drug, you know. Um, I remember the first time I looped uh, myself, I was actually on a, a four track and it was just vocals and I was just kind of doing a beatbox and then like humming a bass line and then singing a melody. And it was this kind of revelation moment. And I remember just thinking the potential possibilities were, were suddenly so exciting. I kind of never really stopped searching. And the first album that I officially released, I just remember like recording it in the studio and it was this thing that I'd never experienced before and, and something I'm, I'm going to be addicted to for the rest of my life. Thank you.